so what we have here, if the diameter is 30 meters, that means our amplitude is going to be 15 meters or the radius of the wheel. The center is 19 meters off the ground, so that means our vertical displacement is going to be 19. If it makes two revolutions per minute, that means it's going to make one revolution in half a minute, so our period is one half. Okay. So our function is going to start off. Okay, since we're starting at the bottom, t equals zero, that tells us we're going to use cosine and it's going to be negative. So it's going to be negative 15, since 15 is the amplitude. Cosine, well, we have to figure out what b is. b equals... 2 pi over the period, it's 1 half, so B will equal 4 pi, that's going to be 4 pi T plus our vertical displacement, which is 19, okay? So what we get, if we're going to graph this thing, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. All right, and we want to put our center line at 19. And we're going to say it's there. That is going to be the line y equals 19. So at time zero, we will be down here, this will be 4, because we're getting negative 15, cosine of 0 is 1, so we get negative 15 plus 9. So we're going to start down here at 0, 4. At the end of our period, which is 1 half, we're going to be at one half four because there's where we're going to complete one cycle. We're going to go through our center line. Or let's see, we're going to have a maximum here. So this is going to be 19 plus 15, which would be 34. Scale is probably not very good. And this would be halfway, so this would be one fourth of a minute, and that's going to be at one fourth thirty three feet, and then halfway between, we're going to go through our center line halfway between those two, so this would be one eighth. This would be three eighths. So one cycle of this thing would look like, oops, that. We start here at zero four. We go through the center line in one eighth of a minute. In one quarter of a minute, we're at the top of the Ferris wheel. At three eighths of a minute, we're back at the center line. And after one half of a minute, we're back down to the bottom of the Ferris wheel. So let's see what's next. Design your own diameter to the speed. Write a function for the height. 
as a function of time. Is your Ferris wheel realistic? Does it travel too fast or too slow? Well, this one, two revolutions a minute seems to be pretty fast. You're going all the way around in 30 seconds. Okay, so let's change some stuff up here. Let's say we're, oh, the diameter of our Ferris wheel is going to be 40 feet. The center line, uh, let's say diameter, so I don't get this confused with my D. Center line. The center of this Ferris wheel is, is 20, say it's 21 feet. That way you only have to climb up a foot to get into it. Let's say we do, it takes, oh, three minutes for one revolution. That means the period equals 3. So our equation would be y equals, we're going to load this at the bottom also, so it's going to be negative 20. So that means our radius is 20. Again, we're going to use cosine. Well, if our period is 3, b has to equal 2 pi divided by 3. So this is going to be 2 pi over 3 times t. And our center is 21 feet above the ground, so it would be plus 21. I'd say this one makes a little more sense. It takes 3 minutes to go all the way around instead of the 30 seconds that other one did. There you go.